Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and today we're gonna look at a pretty popular item. It's called the Rainbird 1800 Retrofit Kit. And this kit is used to convert a sprinkler, a spray sprinkler or a sprinkler zone from being spray over to drip. And there's a couple other things you're gonna need if you do wanna convert the whole zone. Or if you wanna add drip uh, to a certain section and run it with your sprays, you can do that too. Just keep in mind that when you do that, the precipitation rate and application rate of drip tubing um, is different than spray. So you just want to just consider that before just converting a part or adding some drip to a spray zone. More typically, what we see are people converting an entire zone of spray heads over to drip and using this retrofit kit to do it. So let's take a look and see what we have in the bag and what comes included. Instructions, that might be helpful if you've never done something like this before. I don't read instructions, I just go for it. So I'll put that off to the side. Then we have the actual retrofit sprinkler. We're gonna open this up and take a look at it in just a minute. And then we have two fittings. We have a female threaded sort of T adapter that can go on top. And then we also have the elbow version, okay? So that, these three parts are what comes with the retrofit kit. Now we're gonna just go ahead and open up this sprinkler. Keep in mind that oftentimes you're gonna apply part of this product to an existing sprinkler that's in the ground versus putting in a brand new one. And I want you to take a look and see what's inside of here. There is the the cap, you can put this on an existing sprinkler, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then there's a filter assembly that sits under here like that to filter the water because of course you don't want any large debris running through the sprinkler and getting stuck in whatever the drip components are that you might be using. So that's what's inside. If you have a sprinkler that's in the ground, I believe you can just convert this or take this out and put it in any size sprinkler. I happen to have a, uh, a larger 1800 here. We can take off the top. This is the one we use for demo, so I don't keep a spring on it, but it is a good demonstration that you can take the 1800 cap of this um, retrofit kit and you can screw it on an existing sprinkler. So oftentimes that might be your best option rather than digging up the entire sprinkler. Just take the cap off the sprinkler that you have and put the retrofit kit right on it. Okay, let's go back to the, the one that came with it. So that's how, that's how that part, portion of it works. I'm gonna stick that back in there, screw the top on. And, oops, come here, come here you guy. We'll get you on there one of these days, there. Okay, and then your, either your elbow adapter, which is barbed to go to your drip pipe, or your T, which you can then go either, um, either direction off of, screws onto the top. And the neat thing about this is once you screw it on, you notice that what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm holding this, uh, the base of the threads because once you've got it on tight, it is allowed to swivel. So if you've got your sprinkler in place, you can swivel this without loosening these two fittings. So you can get it in the, in the direction that you want to. And then I wanna show one other thing. And if you stay with me, I'll flip the camera back around and show you these components a little closer. If you're gonna convert your whole zone over to drip and you may take one sprinkler to put this retrofit kit on you will need to uh, stop the flow of water to all the other sprinklers so there is rainbird does have other parts that are called caps i'll just have one one uh, right side up and the other one upside down and then they come with two uh, o-rings okay so on your other sprinklers such as this one that i have here you will want to cap them off i want to put in that o-ring and then just put the cap right on top of the sprinkler. That way all the other sprinklers on the zone get capped and you don't have to dig them up and cap at the base. You can just simply cap the top of the sprinkler. So oftentimes these two products are great purchased together 
you have the 1800 retrofit kit, and then you have what's known as the, I think it's the Rainbird 1800 cap, and it fits directly on any existing Rainbird 1800 sprinkler. Go ahead and flip the camera back around and I'll give you two closer looks. So here is the retrofit kit with the T on there that we just reviewed. I'll go ahead and open it up for you so we can pull it apart. This is what it looks like under the hood. Again, if we take this fitting off of here, you can see that that's just a half inch male threads into the 1800 um, standard cap. And again, there is an O-ring in here. So be careful when you take it apart that you don't lose the, lose the O-ring. And then there is the filter basket that comes with it as well. And I, you know, honestly, I'll have to do some research. I'm not sure what would happen if you put the filter basket in, uh, in this sprinkler here if it would drop down or push up, I'm not sure. But I can tell you that the caps fit on any sprinkler. So if you wanna convert a 12 inch sprinkler to drip, you can use the Ziri Retrofit Kit. My Rainbird, super easy to use. Like I said, you can read the directions. You can probably learn a bunch more stuff that I haven't even told you here today, but it is a popular item and it's a great, and very easy way to convert your system from pop-up spray heads by Rainbird over to a drip system. And I think, you know, if you have any other questions, we're always happy to help you. You can reach us by phone, chat, and email. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling, or hey, happy dripping. Cheers.